How long? Ah, I can't even remember. It's been a while. A couple of years. Yeah. I think it, I think it was the, the Blue Horizon fight was the last time we played. That's yeah. It. It's been two years. Yeah, um, it's about time for me to come back. Get a crowd, you know, uh, spectacular show. Anytime I'm at home fighting, you know, uh, I want to put my best effort, you know, and uh, show all the Philadelphia fans that um, I'm one of the best out there. Uh, Raul Munoz, so what's he bring to the table? Well, he's like a solid pro. You know, you know he comes in, uh, he's got two hands just like me. He's got about 16 knockouts, so uh, you got to look out for him. You know? I, I remember asking you before, I remember asking you before you the first fight in Dallas, you know, your first time on the real big stage. Now, this isn't so much the big stage, it's, you know, uh, just more or less what all of us reporters are calling a, quote, stay busy fight. Mm -hmm. Any, like, and I know you were tentatively scheduled fight maybe on an HBO fight in May and all that got, you know, discombobulated for one reason or another. Your, your mindset, being up on that big stage, now coming back down, that, that, I mean, yeah. what are your thoughts on that? Well, at first it was, I had to say it was like a bummer, you know, at first. But then I had to sit back and look at it, you know, and um, I'm a professional, you know, um, this is my job. So um, anytime I go out, wherever I go out and fight, I'm going to put my best effort forth, you know, and um, I'm prepare myself just like it's a world championship fight because I want the world to see that I'm one of the great out, greatest out there. I'm try my best to be one of the greatest out there, you know what I mean? It's my dream, so I'm, I'm uh, try my best and, and, and be my best out there. Now that you're being linked to some names out there, I'm sure you read all the internet mm -hmm. gossip and you might be fighting, you know, there are guys like Cintron, maybe Bird, you know, you know, you, 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 you know the names that, or your name is now being linked to for possible fights in the fall or whatever. Um, I know you, you said this guy's got 16 knockouts and you're not sleeping on him, but you know, when you read that stuff and you talk to your managers and stuff like that, what, what do you um, what do you think? What, what do you want after this fight? Well, I want to, I, was, I want, I want a big fight. You know, I want to, I want to fight under the bright lights. I want to be back on HBO, and uh, I want to show the world, you know, that um, I'm, I'm, I'm someone to be reckoned with. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a great fighter, and I work hard and hard out there. You know, the hard as the rest of them out there. You know, and uh, I just want the world to see my talent. What's it feel like to be this close? You're ranked one by the WBO mm -hmm. and top five in you know all the major sanctioned bodies. Oh uh, man, uh, I hear about it. You know, I rarely look at that stuff, but um, can't ignore it. You it know. seems impossible. It's impossible to ignore it. You know, I see it. You know, it's all around me. But um, it's it's um it's great to be looked at like that. But uh, I'm a work in progress. You know, and um, I'm always working, trying to get better. You open up the Ring magazine. Uh huh. You see your name. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. You I see to, that stuff. Yeah. yeah, you know. But um, hey, man, I'm, I'm trying to get better. And that's all too. We talked to you after the first Karras fight. Um, you said that you, you learned that fight. You know, especially not trying to kill yourself, trying to knock that guy out. Mm -hmm. What'd you learn in the second fight? Oh, if I stick to a game plan and stay poised, then great things are happen. You know, and listen to the corner, and then good things will come. So uh, that was a learning. That was a learning experience. You know, to take on my future fights. You know, just be patient, stick to the game plan, to the corner. Was that a learning experience fighting somebody that tough and having to, you know, endure through somebody who's just going to keep coming and just keep coming like that, no matter what you do to them? Yeah, most definitely. I, I mean, I fought guys like that. I fought, I fought a guy named Gilbert Fernandez who kept coming just like that. He didn't have as much firepower, but he still came just like that. You know? Um, them type of guys that you need to fight, you know, to, um, to, to move up in the rankings and to be a better pro. Well, us in Philadelphia have seen Mike Jones, the guy who is not only getting guys out, getting guys out in vicious fashion. Mm -hmm. Last fight against Carras, uh, you put together, uh, you know, 12 hard rounds of, of, of boxing. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, how did you feel about that, maybe showing a different side of yourself that maybe a lot of people hadn't seen before? Yeah, most definitely. I want to show show everybody that I can box, you know, I can punch, I can do it all. You know, uh, and on any, any given night, I can bring out the boxer, I can bring out the slugger. And um, I'm just working on my game, you know, to, to be, be the best at both of them. But was that kind of... Um 
a culmination or, or a retro, uh, about the second round of the first fight that you said, you know what, I don't, ha I don't have to try to throw 900 punches in 30 seconds. I can just be, uh, you know, systematic with my punching over 12 rounds. And you know, you, you know, he was cut very badly, and you know, you did a number on him. And uh, how satisfying is that compared to, to blasting a guy out there in two, three rounds? I was very satisfied, you know. Uh because you're gonna go up in the rankings, you know, you're gonna fight guys that's uh, number two, number three. And guys, they're not gonna get knocked out. You're gonna have to go the distance. And um, it's very satisfying to know that I can go the distance. And um, which I always know I can go the distance, but show the world that I can go the distance and, uh, and, and be a good boxer in the ring. Also, being sucked. After the first fight, um, we're sort of harassed. I'm sure you, you dealt with it in training and preparation. When you got into the ring, did you think much about the first fight? Um, were you were you were you consciously trying to no. fight differently? Or where were you? No, I was I was I was focused. You know, I was really focused on that fight. I wasn't thinking about the uh, first fight. The only time I, I, I probably thought about the first fight is when I, um, when I when I seen him get hurt. You know, I seen him get hurt and. Um, I knew I better not throw all my punches all in, you know, one one round and get tired and the same thing happened like in the first fight. So that's the only time I thought of it. Does that feel unnatural? Yeah, you feel yourself holding back? Does it feel um, natural to, to no. just not press? No, it's it's just it's just it's just a, a learning experience, just me growing. That's all it was. That's all it was. What did you think of the Berto Ortiz fight? You know, welterweight fight, your division's a hell of a oh, fight. That was a great fight. You know, uh, Ortiz pulled out a great fight. You know, he uh he had a great, great game plan for Andre Berto. He stayed in his chest, you know, and he didn't, you know, didn't let, allow him to box. You know, he stayed in his chest and pressed the, pressed the action. When gave you, it you watched the fight at home? Yeah, I seen it at home. What's it like to sit there? Because there was, you know, there's been talking, you fight a bunch of guys, including Berto. Do you sit there and say, that was mine that could have well, been Well, I was, um, actually, when I'm watching the fight, I'm watching it like as a fan. And um, I was uh, out of my seat because it was a great fight, you know. Um, I was like, whoa, because it was a knockdown after knockdown. It was just a great fight, and I was just looking at it as, as a fan. Uh, point of view. Okay. Um, so, to focus on this fight, the, the one I'm reading in, like, the press release and stuff, the timetable is maybe two, three fights after this, and then it's time. Is that how you feel? Yeah, most definitely. I think I'm ready for a title shot right now. But, um... It doesn't hurt to get more seasoning, you know, it doesn't hurt to, to, to um, get a couple more fights before I go for a title shot, you know, because I know when I get in the best, my best shape, I can be in, I can contend with the best of them. And, but if the, so if the call comes, uh, I'll be ready. That's good news too. Yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah.